Hello beautiful souls, welcome back to Art of Awakening. My name is Ona and this is the video, of, it's, it'll be a weekly reading for the energies of the week of the first week of September 2022, um, which is basically uh, September 4th through the 10th. But if you come here later after the fact, don't worry because that you'll 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 have come here for a reason and there's some message here for you all right so this I'm not going to do a card reading this time I'm just going to relay a message that it was given to me when I tuned into the Akash and um, just kind of asking about you know what's the message for this week so I'm just gonna read to you what they told me and this I'm by they I mean my own spiritual guides my Akashic guides um, all right, so they said the message. See, everything that you see is but a reflection of the emotional state of the world. To change the world, influence the emotions. It is as simple as that. You cannot control the emotions. They are a response mechanism and innate. However, you can direct them and transmute them. This requires practice. And then they gave me an exercise, which I'm, I've been doing for the last day or so. Um, and I'm going to, I'm intending to do this for this entire week. If you want to join me, that would be awesome. I would love to hear your experience. So um, if you try this, come back to this video and type your experience into the comments section below. I'd, I'd love to hear. So here's the exercise they gave me. They say, this week, choose an emotion and meditate on that emotion daily. You can set aside a specific time for this, or better yet, approach your entire day as a prayerful meditation. Keep bringing your emotional point of focus back to that emotion. If you choose joy, make joy your drishti. All right, so <laughs> just a couple of comments. If you don't know what drishti is, it's a yoga term and it means focused gaze. So in a lot of um, many yoga practices, they'll have you focus your gaze sometimes on the third eye, maybe the tip of the nose or another spot. If you've ever done tree pose in yoga and the, the um, instructor tells you to, to choose a point to focus on, that's, that's a drishti point. And the point of a drishti is to actually to help to focus the mind and to still the mind. But in this case, they're actually advising rather than as a mental practice, using it as an emotional practice. And, and I don't know if it was tongue in cheek for them to, to call it a drishti, but it really is. It, it, it's applying that whole concept of focus into the emotional body. And <laughs> I'll just tell you a little story about, oh man, it must have been around 20 <laughs> or 2006 or so. I I mean, this was way back for me in another lifetime, but um, I met this woman who told me that, <laughs> that you, she was choosing happiness, that you could choose happiness. And at that point in my life, <laughs> I had a lot of uh, challenges going on and <laughs> I just could not wrap my mind around that. That that seemed to be the biggest chunk of baloney I had ever heard <laughs> was that you could actually choose your emotions and choose to be happy, you know, if 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 you weren't happy. <laughs> um so if if it just seems like over the top where wherever you're at to <laughs> to choose joy, I totally get it. Um it's uh, but I feel like it you know, I know that it is absolutely tr possible to choose your emotions, although it does take a lot of practice. So when they're saying, you know, to choose an emotion and meditate on that, um, I think this is a very, very deep yoga practice. But if you choose to do this, I'm even just after a couple of days of doing this, I've chosen bliss as mine. Um, it, it's, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> it's significant. I can feel like, because it, it, what it does is it forces you to really be aware of the state of your emotional body. And as I've been doing this over the last couple of days, I've been realizing it's like, wow, it is so easy for the emotions to slip down. <laughs> there oh I had this person at tree so I could oh, so it's it's super super easy for the emotions to kind of start to slip down 
And so doing this, it really helps you to just keep your vibration up. Um, all right. And so then finally, I asked for an image. They said, just suggested the color yellow, the colors yellow and gold. And so as I was starting to paint, um, I'm going to show you the painting here. Little goldfinch. So as I, as I was starting to paint with these colors, um, I really was thinking, I, it just the, the goldfinch really came to mind. And so that's that's what I did. And um, the goldfinch was just this really fun little <laughs> fun little painting to do. Um, but I thought, well, you know, that goldfinch has got to have some meaning for right now. And so I, I looked up its habits. <laughs> and it's just got some interesting things for this little tiny songbird. First of all, of course, the beautiful gold and yellow. It elicits the color of the sun, right? That whole solar energy, which is so powerful. And of course, we've just come off of the, the Lion's Gate last month and moving into, um, you know, the darker point part of the year. Um, so Goldfinch has this beautiful yellow color. And it also nests in the middle of the summer instead of in the spring. So it's a little bit later to nest and it. It lines the nest. And the reason it nests so late is that it lines the nest with little threads of thistle down which don't you know they don't mature until the middle of the summer and so part of what goldfinch is is saying to me right now is just the the beauty of maturity the beauty of you know having patience and waiting and life's wisdom right and not just that it nests later, but the, the little strands of thistledown that it uses in its nest are reminiscent of the graying hair, right? So respecting of the elders, um, enjoyment of the elder phase of life, or, you know, we all go through cycles of, you know, initiating and maturing and then you know, going to that mature and then down into the, the the ending phases of whatever cycle we're in. Um, so it's kind of enjoying that <laughs> that more autumn kind of phase of life or w even winter. And so this is sort of a reminder to, as we move into the winter season, to bring the joy that we have and to bring light into that winter season right we are light bringers as we know when we work with goldfinch energy or when we learn to master our emotions right to command the emotions and i want to just <laughs> um maybe elaborate just a little bit about what they said about you can't control the emotions um but you can direct them okay and i think that's super important to to honor our emotions right because we we could just take and suppress them but that that tends to be a, <laughs> not a very heal, healing thing but you know it is it is important to allow the emotions you know to recognize them sometimes we just need to let them flow a little bit but then to work on bringing them back right to because we have to recognize we are not the emotions we are not the emotional state that we're in the emotional state is a response and we are the awareness all right so it's important to notice the response and to honor it and acknowledge it and then but then it's the response you know to what happens to us that that we're in control of and it's through the emotions that we can do that right so you know if you notice your emotions going in a certain direction um you know you can start to bring them back and if something as high vibrational as joy or bliss is is difficult um, you, you know choose one that feels approachable but is still more in the direction of where you want to go I feel like gratitude is always like to me that's my go-to emotion and especially if things are super challenging it's gratitude is an incredibly high vibrational emotion and yet it's it's fairly accessible even if we are <laughs> undergoing challenges we can usually appreciate gratitude and at least you know um, get there to a certain extent all right so um, I hope that you have a wonderful week I, just a couple of things I've got um, 
my first Souls of Fire video coming up. Uh, this is on Wednesday. This is for uh, purpose-driven entrepreneurs, and um, it'll be, I'm thinking, 5 o'clock Eastern every Wednesday. And also, I'll be hosting a, a spirit animal workshop pretty soon in the month of September, so watch for that. Enjoy your week, and remember, you were born to be free.